Welcome back to A Tale of Blood and Snow. This is going to be a full playthrough of the creation, with the plan being to cover each of the three joinable factions. Moving the main quest line along and unlocking unique side quests does require completion of the new Radiant quests added to the game. Obviously, these Radiant quests mainly take us to vanilla dungeons, so in the interest of time, I'll be showing what the quests are, but I'll be cutting to getting the objectives, turning them in, and so on, rather than having you watch me go through 13-year-old vanilla dungeons. We do have a shortcut out of Kronvanger Hall as well, you just gotta take this key from the workbench and take a very long ladder up. Need something? The task is complete. I knew you wouldn't disappoint. You've earned your reward. Sure. I'll just open a window. Let the sunlight in. <laughs> Point taken. I'll just set out some scented salts. I guess it smells in here, huh? I mean... I, I feel like it would smell in here. What? Are the Quara Clan really a threat to the Kronvanger? They shouldn't be. In the old days, if a tiny group of outsiders tried to establish their own clan, we'd simply destroy them. But with the decline of the Kronvanger, the overall fracturing of existing clan alliances, Vidmar's betrayal, losing our members... <laughs> the Quara should be nothing but a minor nuisance. But thanks to that, yes, they're a threat. It's up to you and me to make sure we keep them from getting stronger. With how much they've mentioned Vidmar, I would assume that means we're gonna confront Vidmar at some point. Maybe as like one of the special quests or something. What do you think of the clan? We're a shadow of our former selves. That much is undeniable. Vidmar's betrayal saw to that. See, I feel like they're setting it up, yeah. I, I know about Vidmar, but... Vidmar? In the old days, when Fjotred was our broodfather, Vukoslag served as his lead hunter, and Vidmar as head of the guards. But Vidmar betrayed the clan. He and his supporters allowed a group of vampire hunters to enter the cave. In the chaos, he turned on us. We repelled the hunters, but Fjotred was slain by Vidmar, and the traitor himself disappeared into the night. No matter how long it takes, I will find where he's gone. Honor demands vengeance. All right, well, what does the clan need? I like this, so I like that we can talk to each of the members and have, you know, new conversations with them. We got a report of some choir scouts rummaging around an old dwarven ruin, probably looking for more equipment. Make sure they fail. All right, I'll head out now. I'll wipe them out. They should have died with the red ear. Let's fix that oversight. Damn, all right. <laughs> He's not mincing words at all. He's like, man, I wish the Red Ear had killed them. What, the Red Ear wasn't already bloody enough for you? Now, one bug I ran into during this was that it was saying to, you know, kill the Quora leader at Robithar, and it was marking the Dwarven Centurion Master as the quarrel leader, even after defeating him, even after destroying him, it wasn't counting the completion. So I had to use kill all, and that completed the quest objective. And it's probably just a thing of given that, you know, it's based on the Radiant system, that might just be one of those weird occurrences where that might happen. Uh, so you might even want to save before taking some of the Radiant Quest, just to be safe. I'm also realizing now after the fact, now after I used that console command, I could have just used the debug menu. I'm not sure if the debug menu would have worked for that, but... Let me see. Okay, so probably not, no. So I don't know if the debug menu would have helped in that case. Because one thing is, for this quest in particular, there it? weren't actually any vampires. I didn't encounter anyone from Clan Quora at Rodbathar, so it was just, you know, what is it? the regular dwarven enemies and bandits that would have been there. I'm busy. Make it quick. What do you mean you're busy? I'm helping you out here. 
Keep it up. You might even start to impress me. He might even look me in the eye. Not yet. Seems they're all waiting to see who wins this feud with the Quara before they commit. <sighs> Very well. Continue reaching out to them. We must have allies if we are to survive. Yeah, it shows the level of disrespect he still has for me. He gave me an iron mace of all things. It's like, wow. What am I gonna do with that? How can I help? One of our cattle made a break for it. It didn't get far, though. Another clan grabbed them. We can't let this insult stand. Drag that thrall back here. Ooh, that's new. All right, I'll uh, get right to it. It's appreciated. With how on guard the mortals are lately, we can't afford to lose any cattle. Pfft, stupid mortals, am I right? With their mortal things like bleeding, getting bitten. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, optional kill the leader of the rival clan too. Well, that's nice. I like that there's an optional objective for that then. Now, interestingly, I haven't discovered this cave before, so I'm wondering if this is a cave added by... Like, another creation club thing that I just haven't done yet. Stormcaller Cave. Yeah, I don't recognize it off the top of my head. But given that I also have every single creation club pack installed because of, you know, Anniversary Edition, I don't know what I have anymore. I don't know what's in the game anymore, frankly. You want 800 player homes? Because, man, oh man, we got 800 player homes for you. Alright, I just checked. This is one of the new dungeons added by the creation. One of ten dungeons added by the creation. And it's been really cool because looking through the... The credit list and everything, this had so many people behind it. This had so many notable of uh, people involved, Eleonora and Isoneon. You know, I'm gonna be a little bit more respectful. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna try and fight a mano -a mano rather than just, you know, disrespectfully, uh, sneak attacking every single one of them. Yeah, so this is a new dungeon, which... Like I said, I wanted to check just because of the fact that I, I can't keep some of these straight anymore. But given that this is for a Radiant Quest, I'm wondering if this dungeon comes up again later during the main story. Oh, hello. Sorry, sorry, fellow fledgling. Oh, oh that just went right through you. But like I said, yeah, a lot of people worked on this, and that's something that I really like to see. I really think that in the future, one of the strengths to the creations program will be people who are working together to create, you know, their full teams to create, like, different You're groups worst. that are collaborating, that are working together, that are showing oh, no, kind of, like, don't. the strengths yeah. in the community. I saw that Razor Kid was involved. I know several of the voice actors involved. It's just... You know, this feels like a community effort. This feels like a really cool group effort. The same way that Bard's College Expansion had an entire team behind it, too. Don't mind me, I need your blood potions. Listen, you're not gonna need them anymore, so I might as well get some use out of them. It's a pretty extensive dungeon, yeah. And even before I looked it up, I was thinking, oh, okay, this could be a vanilla dungeon. This could be uh, either vanilla or Bethesda created for a creation club or something like that. But the notes that I saw did mention that it used to belong to a Vermina cult before a vampire clan took over. And you can see that with the Vermina statues all around uh oh, we got spiders. No, spiders, no. We're supposed to be friends. I'm of the spider clan. Obey me, spiders. Turn against your masters. Serve me instead. Oh, they, they didn't want to listen. They didn't want to hear it. So I assume they're just keeping my thrall, my cattle, just in a pen. I would imagine so, at least. 
Ooh, and... Ooh, man. What a waste of blood. Oh. Could have taken all these cattle for myself. You look a little out of it. Uh, who are you? I'm your best friend. The thrall has been committed to return to Kronvanger Hall. Mm. That's the spirit. Uh. Oh god, okay. He's He's got a little uh, bit of the jimmy legs, a little bit of the jelly legs going on. But I can still do the optional objective. I was just following this one first. Honestly, I see no reason not to go after, you know, the optional objective, not to find and face our rival. What was that? I like the shrine that we have here too. Oh, you you're dust. You're literally just dust now. Oh, almost. And Oh, don't heal up. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. He was trying to hide. He was trying to get away from me. He did a little bit of a flip. Yeah, this is why I think that we're going to come here later for some uh, sort of quest. That's why I would imagine that we're going to come here later for a quest. I'm going to quick save before I try reading the note in case we're not really supposed to do anything with this yet. After years of work, Vermina has finally granted us the artifact of our desires. The Dream Catcher Coffin, as I have dubbed it, grants us freedom from the worst symptom of our vampirism. <gasps> the nightmares! Oh, now when we sleep, the specter within the coffin shall dream for us. Our nightmares will gather within the coffin, granting us peaceful sleep. All that is asked for us in return is a simple ritual. Once every nine days, a vampire must sleep in the coffin and experience all the horrors trapped within. Of course, the contract does not specify that the vampire be one of us. There are plenty of weak fledgings out there that should be easy prey. Okay, I'm not going to activate it yet. Just because, once again, I don't know if I should be, but that's a really cool lore idea. That's a really great idea that, obviously, you know, vampires would probably want to, uh, you know, escape the dreams escape the nightmares while still retaining their powers. My task is complete. Keep up the good work, and I'll keep up with your rewards. All right, draw the true it? shot and chant just draw it. All right. Velfred, can Not anything bad. be done about the fumes from the forge? I've helped Don't out the clan. I heard as much from your salt. clan mates. You've proven yourself a true Kronvanger. Take a moment to prepare yourself. When you are ready, I will tell you of our new hope. I will tell you of the Bloodfire Amulet. Which we did hear about that we did see that mentioned during one of the dream sequences too. Mm. What is the Bloodfire Amulet? An ancient relic. Dating back before recorded history. It is said to have been crafted by one of the first vampires in Skyrim. For millennia, the amulet was a symbol of leadership among the clans. Like the jagged crown for the mortals of Skyrim, the clan that holds the Bloodfire amulet stands above all others. But in the early Second Era, the amulet was lost. Sealed away with the death of its previous owner, Imar Coldblood. I have spent centuries searching for the amulet. With it in hand, the other clans would have no choice but to acknowledge our power. And at last, I have learned where Imar Coldblood is buried. Where the Bloodfire amulet sleeps, waiting to be claimed. Will the whole clan be going? I wish. In the olden days, when the clan numbered in the hundreds, such an expedition would be possible. Now, now I can spare only two members. Narina, for her knowledge of history. And you, 
The others all have their roles already. Abandoning them would jeopardize the clan too much. But you... Yeah, I get that a lot. You are not needed for any specific role. Yeah. And you have shown your strength and ability in helping the others. You are ideal for this mission. Okay, he complimented me and in the so, end. so, that is your task. Go to Iceblood Barrow, resting place of Imar Coldblood, and recover the Bloodfire Amulet for the Kronvang. I've noticed that the audio quality for some of their lines varies. Some of them sound a little bit more muffled, and I'll occasionally hear some kind of, like, tongue clicks. So, if it were possible to maybe, like, clean up a little bit of that, that could... Uh, help out just a little. I want to see where Iceblood Barrow is. Okay, find the entrance to Iceblood Barrow within Broken Fang Cave. Got it. Pathetic spiders. Ooh, oh, oh, okay. Crush you. So we have the Quarra here. So the Quarra are also trying to get the amulet, which does make sense. You'll have to do and obviously they know that they're aware nut. that I did join Lucky uh, the clan hit. that I did join Lucky clan Cronfanger. you're a little tanky you're lucky a little strong hit. it's they're all lucky hits or rather they can't all be lucky hits if I'm hitting you every single time heavy quora boots heavy quora gauntlets quora clan robes those are all mine and I do like that they have their own armor rather than just, you know, wearing standard dwarven armor. Huh? It'd be boring feast. if they were just wearing Nothing. standard um, Skyrim dwarven armor. Instead, their armor actually reminds me a little bit more of, like, the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind era dwarven we'll armor. Which is also really, really Better nice. Than that. Man, oh man, everyone wants the amulet. Everyone's trying to get it. The the clanless, the quora, everyone. Have you guys seen my friend here? Did she sneak past you guys? I think she did. Shh, quiet. Use your inside moaning voice. Oh, and... I smell yep. No, 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 you don't smell anything. It's allergy season. Also, I just realized he had a unique helmet. He had a new helmet. So I want to see that real quick. You're nothing but yeah! Okay, really giving me an old school, like, Morrowind uh, armor vibe. Hey, you guys are definitely a little stronger than the average vampire. Ooh. All right, yeah. I'm not just meat, we're fellow vampires. Come on. Let's have a little respect for each other here. Lucky. How dare you! I do like that the Quora have, you know, have new lines. Like, they have Better their own that. Uh, dialogue, rather than just using lucky. regular vanilla. Lucky. <laughs> They're not all lucky, you can't keep saying that. At some point, you have to acknowledge my level of skill. Also, just my stubbornness, because, man, you guys are a little tanky. You guys are a little strong. Uh, granted, I could also afford to improve my gear a bit more, so I should probably do that as well. Ice Blood Barrow. Recover the Bloodfire Amulet. I still haven't found Narina here. I didn't see her in... Oh! Sorry. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon. Remarkable. Oh, to think this place has survived so long. No, I've been through here before. I've been through the, uh, the cave up there. Never saw this place. Remarkable. Kind of crazy, huh? Oh, to think this place has survived so long. Have you heard of the Bloodfire Amulet before? I'd be a poor enchanter if I hadn't. Call you may as well bit. ask a member of the Companions if they'd heard of Isgrimor. No records exist as to who made the amulet or why, but the stories are clear. Wearing it grants a vampire protection from the sun. Is it any wonder the clans of Skyrim hold it in high esteem? 
what do you think about this place? I think it's fascinating. The architecture dates back to... Oh, I'd say late First Era. Before the birth of Emperor Remen, certainly. There are no remaining records of what clan this barrow belonged to. Emar Coldblood certainly planned to create his own clan, but... Oh, the murals here... I apologize, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> You're after the amulet, not my interpretation of statuary. She's just geeking out I over here. I suspect you'll encounter Draugr ahead. The ancient Nords did like to defend their tombs, after all. Tread carefully, and watch for traps. Where did all the ice come from? Indeed, it doesn't seem to fit the climate on the surface. This is only speculation, but Emar Coldblood was known as a mage specializing in ice magic. Perhaps his corpse continues to cast such spells. Which, it's interesting because I feel like the... I'd like to examine this place a bit further. Go on ahead. I feel like the nightmares we had were kind of alluding to some of this. I feel like the three nightmares we went through was helping to kind of... build up to, um, you know, what we're encountering here. And what we'll likely be encountering throughout the storyline. Let me just grab you. What was that? It's just Draugr. You warned me about them. You told me there'd be Draugr, and lo and behold, Draugr. It's nothing I can't handle. Surprise, surprise. I'm also the Dragonborn. They're like, really? The Dragonborn, the ancient Nord hero? Uh, it's one of us? Vampire? Alright, sure. Oh. Game crashed. I actually can't tell you the last time my game crashed. It's been a while. I really haven't had a whole lot of crashes lately in general. It's been very stable. Just... <laughs> my Skyrim in general has been very stable for... I'd say a couple of years now, which is just really nice, obviously. Oh, that's a handful of enemies. That's a few people right there. It's gonna be more spiders. I do see a spider. Yeah. As always, if you have arachnophobia, then, well, frankly, even vanilla scum is gonna be rough for you anyway. But joining Clan Kronvanger, that, <laughs> that be, might be a little hard. I have uh, one friend, I have a Twitch mod who is afraid of spiders, and oh, even the moment that I joined them, even the moment that I stepped into uh, the Kronvanger clan lair, I was thinking of him, I was like, well, he is not gonna like that. I was hoping I could reach my hand in there, no. I think this'll loop around though. Yeah, this definitely will. And now I need to find a way to open that door. Got it. Oh. All oh, the Draugr are dead in here. Because we haven't seen any other vampires, so it leads me to believe that no one's really gotten this far into the ruin yet. Oh. Okay, so this leads to another cell. All right. Well, let me go check out the door that I opened, because I I was just following this path just to see where it would lead, just to see where it went. But now let me go back to that central chamber, because we opened up... Oh, okay, this is just a chest. Well, then that makes me wonder how I open up that other door then yeah because this is still locked is open somewhere else hmm i guess let me go back down to that other door i guess let me head that way because that kind of seems to be the way that i want to go uh for now at least I see a ghost. Doubt they're friendly? No. 
they're not going to be friendly, but I will allow them to attack first. Death comes for you now. Joke's on you, I'm undead. Which you can still kill undead, but... Technically already dead. <laughs> Technically, I've already died. Oh, and I shouted something off the pedestal. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be okay. Let me just make sure... Okay, it's just diamonds. Whew. I was worried that I might have messed something up by shouting at this. I did think that Narina was maybe gonna follow us through here. I thought she was maybe gonna act as a companion for this. Yeah, now that I'm fighting, like, Draugr Overlord and everything, I will say that the Quora Clan are stronger than uh, a Draugr Overlord. Damn. Oh, at first I thought there was going to be a puzzle. I don't think I can turn this. Oh, alright. I actually can. I wasn't expecting that. I figured it was just going to be stuck because of the snow. Oh, nope. I... Okay. I do need to turn it. There is gonna be something to this. Ooh. Let's look for clues. Oh. Okay, it's the Bleak Falls Barrow thing, so it's gonna be whale, snake, whale. Whale. So this is gonna be whale. And the second one was right up here. Whale, snake, whale. Right? Oh, and there's another door too? Oh, nope, just a regular door. Okay. Amar Coldblood, and he is... In this case, uh, probably meant as a lich, but depicted as a, uh, <laughs> depicted as a, a dragon priest. Now, the interesting thing is that he isn't in the same faction as the Draugr. Oh god, and there's a, there's a lot of Draugr too. You, you keep fighting him, don't worry about me. Pretend I'm not here. Act as though I am not here at all. But where are you running to? Where are you going? Oh, where did you come from? Yeah, Amar's really holding his own against them. I can't let them steal the kill, though. I, I can't let the Draugr take the kill. I would feel like I hadn't earned, you know, the amulet if I did that. If I allowed them to do all the work for me. I do maybe wish that the Draugr had, you know, awoken in stages. Uh, because this is just a lot of Draugr all at once. I'm also very picky about stuff like that in case you guys don't already know that. And that's a fairly common thing that they'll do for, um, a lot of the fights like this to a lot of the vanilla, the base game Draugr fights in these final rooms where they'll have it where, oh, okay, you only have a few at a time, then more of them are scripted to wake up and stuff like that. Which, for all I know, that might have been the intent too. The Blood Fire Amulet. That feels very vampiric. When equipped by a vampire, defends from the harmful effects of the sun and boosts fire resistance at night. Oh. What if I don't want to give it back? What if I want it for me? You know? I, I kind of want to be selfish. I kind of want to keep it. I want it to be mine. It's a, it's a little treat, you know? Okay, so this. I knew ooh. I had uh -oh. pathetic spiders. I was gonna say this you. opened up into uh, the original room, the one that I was trying to find a way to open that door. So that makes sense. You'll have to do better than that. Now the fact that you're named, You'll I have a feeling that means to... you would be one of our quest givers. Should we have joined Clan Quara? And now he's dead. And now, you know... 
we'll have to see the other side of things. We'll have to see what it's like to, uh, to join them if I want to get to know his character at all. But it's the same thing with, you know, the Dongard DLC. Oh, all the named Dongard who you would meet and hang out with and do quests for, you have to kill if you join Clan Volkahar, and vice versa. All the named members of Clan Volkahar you would have to kill when you join the Dongard. Narina, all I'm saying is you let them get past you, and we gotta talk about that real fast. Are you still here? No, she left. Damn, I feel abandoned. I feel a little betrayed. Oh, you were waiting for me, weren't you? The amulet is key to regaining our old position. But don't walk away from me, I'm wearing the amulet right now. Okay, I do want to do this. How did you find the amulet's location? Not everyone has forgotten the Kronvanger. There are still those who wish to remain in our good graces. A scholar from Cyrodiil found a reference to the amulet in an ancient tome and alerted me. Well, in case you haven't seen it, in case you haven't noticed it, feel free to admire it. I have the amulet. I... After all these years... I can hardly believe it. The spiderling... No, I cannot call you that any longer. You have achieved a dream I had all but abandoned. Let none deny that you are a true Kronvanger. With this, with the Bloodfire Amulet in our possession, we have a grand symbol of our authority. He just rips it none off my neck. who still respect the old ways will deny us now. Other clans will seek alliances. Stray fledglings will beg to join. This will not convince fools like Yelker, who think brute force is all that matters. But now we can begin rebuilding our web of influence. My friend, as the one who recovered the amulet, you deserve to hold it. Oh, there we go. Wear it proudly, that all who see you will know the Kronvanger have returned. I was hoping I there would keep it. There is much work to do. Help your clanmates as best you can while I prepare our next move. Okay. 1,500 gold iron warhammer, steel plate boots. I'm gonna have to drop some of the junk because uh, <laughs> I definitely don't need all of the stuff that they're giving me. 